Hey future drivers, today we're going to be looking at why Aptera has opted for using in-wheel motors. As we know, in-wheel motors offer the capability of implementing torque vectoring, a feature found in high-performance vehicles. This video explores various other applications where individual wheel torque can enhance the offerings in non-performance markets. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Torque biasing commonly referred to as torque vectoring, is becoming increasingly prevalent in high-performance vehicles for enhancing cornering. This is achieved through the application of yaw moments by means of active differential, brakes, or other mechanical techniques. With the versatility of in-wheel motors, standard torque vectoring strategies can easily be implemented through software alone. However, the advantages of high-bandwidth independent wheel torque control extend beyond torque vectoring and can offer benefits in efficiency, safety, dynamics, cost, and quicker market entry for all market segments. To fully harness the unique capabilities of in-wheel motors and achieve the best outcomes, it's essential that the underlying platform and design are optimized to fully leverage their distinctive features. This involves carefully considering the architecture, system components, and integration of the motors into the overall vehicle design. When done correctly, this optimization process can ensure that the vehicle can realize the full potential of in-wheel motors and deliver enhanced driving, dynamics, improved safety, and greater energy efficiency. By taking a holistic approach to the design of the platform and integrating the motors in a way that takes full advantage of their strengths, it's possible to create a truly exceptional driving experience that meets the needs and expectations of today's drivers. Let's cover the efficiency benefits. Both traditional vehicles and electric vehicles with conventional E-axles experience rolling losses due to inefficient suspension and steering mechanics. Traditional vehicles are set up with a slight toe-in on each wheel to provide stability, but this causes tire wear and energy loss. Over 100 kilometers of travel, each tire can incur a lateral drag equivalent of up to 500 meters. In comparison, a vehicle powered by IWMs can be designed for minimum rolling resistance, while stability is achieved through high bandwidth individual wheel torque dynamics. Vehicle manufacturers have utilized a trail and caster configuration in their vehicles to achieve desired handling characteristics, which have become a defining factor and steering system design to distinguish themselves from competitors. Though this setup delivers good steering feel, higher mechanical trail also results in increased losses in power steering due to higher steering loads. Replacing these mechanical characteristics with software-controlled systems can mitigate some of these inefficiencies in the steering system. Before we look into the safety benefits, have you subscribed yet? Ensure to do so. You will be the first to know about all the latest EV news and reviews. As for the safety benefits, having a motor at each wheel through in-wheel motors enhances the control of vehicle dynamics, offering a range of safety benefits such as shorter stopping distances, improved ability to avoid obstacles, capability to operate on low friction surfaces, and bi-directionality. Vehicles with IWMs can significantly shorten stopping distances through torque modulation, whereas ABS system performance in conventional vehicles is restricted by the response of hydraulic actuators and speed sensors. The speed sensing ability of in-wheel motors and the rapid response of torque delivery, with only tire dynamics remaining, significantly improve slip control potential. To fully realize this potential on diverse grip surfaces, coordination with the steering system is necessary, and this is made possible due to the highly predictable nature of torque delivery from IWMs. Understeer, which enables drivers to safely handle the car at the grip limit, is a crucial aspect for vehicle manufacturers and providers. However, this is achieved by sacrificing the front suspension setup of a typical passenger car, which is often adjusted to achieve the desired characteristics, resulting in the front wheels reaching the grip limit before the rear wheels. In examining the driving dynamics advantages, it's evident that the use of in-wheel motors can significantly enhance the driving experience of a vehicle. The independent torque control capability of in-wheel motors allows for a high level of precision and responsiveness in steering, even at low speeds. 
This precision is achieved through software control, which offers the unique advantage of being able to fine-tune a vehicle's agility and stability. For example, at low speeds, the agility of a vehicle can be improved, while sensitivity is reduced, resulting in a more stable driving experience at higher speeds. This software control eliminates the traditional compromises that have been faced in the design of steering systems, making it possible to improve the vehicle's appeal through cost reduction or the introduction of new functionalities. In short, the use of in-wheel motors not only offers benefits in terms of packaging, flexibility, and component simplicity, but also provides advanced technology that delivers smooth and continuous wheel movements. These advanced capabilities result in improved driving experience and safety, especially on busy urban streets and in high-performance driving situations. The vehicle time to market benefits by using software to control the IWM, some suspension steering characteristics can be achieved, potentially simplifying the mechanical design of these systems and reducing their cost. This leads to greater commonality between vehicle platforms, and the increased reuse of these subsystems brings cost and time to market advantages. This could result in the application of skateboard chassis to various vehicles with different exterior designs and interior layouts, as long as they share compact corner modules. To correct oversteer or understeer in existing vehicles, the response of the torque vectoring system may be limited because it only has to adjust the vehicle's slow overall cornering. To provide the fast yaw response necessary for stability and disturbance rejection, limitations include shaft dynamics, hydraulic delays, and backlash. A direct drive in-wheel motor like the Protein Drive system is required to achieve the full potential as it drives directly to the tire's contact patch. In conclusion, the implementation of in-wheel motors satisfies the growing needs and demands of the evolving automotive industry. These motors not only offer the benefits of compact design, versatility, and streamlined components, but they also deliver advanced technological features that ensure seamless and smooth wheel movements. These capabilities provide exceptional handling and maneuverability in busy urban environments, delivering a superior driving experience and heightened safety measures. The use of in-wheel motors in vehicles can be seen as a step towards the future of the automotive industry, as manufacturers strive to meet the changing ownership and usage models of vehicles. We're gonna wrap it up here, future drivers. Do you think Aptera's decision in opting for in-wheel motors was the best thing to do? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for all the latest EV news and reviews. We hope to see you in the next one, future drivers.